What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we do a, oh my god, I don't know how that sold for 170. But yo, if you guys invested in Mount Ginoli, that is a W. Yo, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff, man. Let's hit 50 likes in this video. We got content predictions, what's coming, should you sell your cards, and whatnot. Um, yeah, let's just pretty much get right into it, guys. If you do need MT, make sure to hit me up. I'm selling MT. And, uh, yeah, yo, um, uh, Mono Ginoli just sold for 170k. And, guys, um, I don't know why. These are going for 100k. I got lucky, okay? I got completely lucky. 170k, I made about 50k profit after, 55, 60k profit off that Mono Ginoli. So, yo, I will most definitely take that. That is a massive W. If you guys want to sell Manu, it's up to you. Um, to be honest, guys, I got completely lucky. I lucked the hell out. Um, looking at Manu Ginobili, before we do get into the content predictions, um, I wouldn't sell yet. I just got really lucky because I do have two more in my auction. So, anyways, let's get into content predictions. Let me tell you guys what I think is coming to tomorrow. We're going to talk about the market a tiny bit and content predictions. Well, um... Here's how it works in 2K, if you guys don't know. Pretty much every other week, we do get an Idols, Idols series, okay? So this week, we will not be getting another Idols player unless they surprise us. Usually, we don't. So here's my predictions. We are going to get another Flash. We are kind of due for Flash. So in my opinion, guys, what are we going to get? It's pointing all towards Flash. I definitely think we get a Flash promo tomorrow. And I think it's going to include a center, a glitch center that could shoot threes, okay? that is my guess now what center can we get well thinking about the glitch centers i feel like we get a hopefully we don't get a shack that could shoot threes that's one thing i don't want to see my predictions tomorrow is chris bosh chris bosh i bet you drops tomorrow that would be insane if we do get chris bosh so hopefully we get a chris bosh flash card that's one of my predictions for sure a glitch chris bosh makes sense like that could just drain threes um, why do I say we need a center that can shoot threes? Well, if you think about it, we have the 250,000 uh, MT tournament coming, right? So for the 250,000 MT tournament, we definitely need a stretch center. So uh, also, what else do I think is going to drop? I'm thinking one of the best current series players, either LeBron, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, Curry, or not Curry, Harden. That's also a possibility. Maybe a Tim Duncan. They do like to drop Tim Duncan usually early game as well so those are pretty much my predictions um let me think one more thing so we got brandon roy ready we got manu ginobili maybe a better tony parker than the emerald it all depends we could get a bill walton we could get there's not that many players that i can think of right now we got scotty pippen amethyst um tracy mcgrady obviously a better vince carter so there actually is a lot of cards that could possibly come out but I think the biggest thing I'm going to think about right now is definitely the center. We're definitely most likely going to get a center coming into the game. I'm almost 110% positive. Now, speaking about the market, what the heck should you guys do? Are you going to make MT? Yes or no? Well, here's my thing right now. Let's just give a little glance at the market. Just a tiny glance. Nothing crazy. Let's go over diamonds. So looking at diamonds right now, they're actually kind of up in value. Besides, yeah, everyone, everything's pretty up in value and here's the reason why well tomorrow pretty much the only thing that i see crashing is really the content i say the content does bring a little attention to the crash that's what i'm going to say most definitely it brings a little bit of market crash but this is what happened last two hundred fifty thousand dollar tournament guys um about five hours later after the market crash the market went up so much because of the fact that <clears throat> everybody's gonna buy their team friday and saturday everybody's gonna try to buy the most stacked team they could possibly get their hands on and that is exactly why my mono ginobili did sell for that much that is the only reason why my mono ginobili sold for that much and this one right here <laughs> has 17 gold badges um so whatever one i have in my collection someone upgraded big time um they definitely upgraded it so that's pretty interesting he's gonna go for a lot more nt but yo thinking about it right now i think that model sold just because 
there is stuff coming out tomorrow. I do think that the market will rise very, very fast. And that's pretty much my content predictions right now. Definitely a stretch center. I'm definitely thinking Chris Bosh. You're probably going to see Chris Bosh in the thumbnail. Um, hmm. I don't really know who else. Realistically, I think we got enough point guards. I could also see maybe a Magic Johnson shooting guard small forward or small forward power forward. I don't think they're going to release the point guards yet. I feel like they... I feel like they're really trying to get away from tall point guards. I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling that tall point guards is not going to happen so far yet. And here's another reason why. Zach Levine's clearly a small a point guard. And they made him 6. He's 6'6". Six, six. They made him shooting guard small forward. So that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't think we're going to have tall point guards. Because of that reason. And because of the reason if a tall point guard drops, yeah, they're going to make money so they might. But if a tall point guard drops, a lot of these shorter point guards don't really aren't gonna have that much value anymore. So it it's gonna we're gonna see what they're gonna do. It's completely up to them. But do I think we get a small point guard or a big point guard? Most definitely, I don't think so. I, I don't think we're gonna get a tall point guard. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we never see tall point guards. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to afford them. But realistically, looking at it, man, it does kind of ruin the game. Because if you don't have it. You don't have the tall point guard guys it's not gonna be fun it's just not gonna be fun it's just not fun regardless i remember when i first glitched simmons i didn't have him and he was op if they drop a point guard simmons he might ruin the game we're gonna see but realistically right now looking at the market it's actually kind of high so you should probably sell your cards that's gonna be my best thing to say man definitely sell your cards it's probably your last chance and then you could buy your cards back tomorrow but like i said will the market crash i think it will not for long though all those, all those people that have work after 5 p.m east guys it's gonna suck because you're most likely gonna miss out on a big market crash tomorrow might be a huge market crash because there's gonna be a lot of market movement there's gonna be a lot of sniping and not only that word on the street is that they got rid of the auction house glitch so tomorrow is going to be an amazing day to snipe and other than that, man, that's really all we got for the content predictions. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Pack opening tomorrow, mad content tomorrow, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.